colleges aren't for everyone, especially if you want to work in the high-tech world where computer programmers are in big demand right now. Dev League offers a 12-week coding boot camp that is already paying dividends, and they've got financing options that make it easier than ever to enroll. It boils down to, you know, if you want to spend four years of going to college and possibly $40,000 at, at, at the local universities, possibly even more at the mainland schools, you know, you can attend for four years, pay a lot of money, possibly get into debt, or you can attend Dev League, and 12 weeks later you'll be out you know, working as a software developer. I would absolutely recommend Dev League you know, for anybody looking to uh, get a start in the, the tech industry. Because I have a family, I don't have really time to go back to school, so this was the best option for me to to learn what I needed to learn quickly and get back into uh, the workforce so that I could provide for my family. Derek was a great story. He came to us really, you know, kind of in that position of, of having worked professionally and really needing the, uh, a pivot in his professional life. He came in with, with absolutely no background in coding at all or, or really technical roles and really from day one committed 100% of his time and energy. I was actually uh, laid off uh, from my previous job and so it's been, it had been about six months and I didn't really find anything that I was excited to do. So uh, it was actually through the Oahu WorkLinks office I got a referral. They said, you know, you might be interested in this because I was looking into some type of analytics type of uh, job. But they said, hey, you might want to check out Dev League. And I, I'm really glad I did. So we have our full-time program, which is 12 weeks. It's 11 hours a day, six days a week, Monday through Saturday. We also created a part-time program uh, for working professionals. I enrolled in the part-time program, and that program spanned uh, 26 weeks. And it's about 20 hours a week, with classes being uh, Wednesday and Thursday evenings from 6 to 10 p.m., and then Saturdays, all day from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. I had no programming experience whatsoever. So it's a, it was a little bit daunting at the beginning because I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but I knew I was excited about it. And so I've had some you know, challenges in terms of uh, just keeping up because the pace is really fast and uh, you really have to be able to adapt and, and keep learning new things, but I totally enjoy it because every day is different and it's not like sitting at a desk doing mundane tasks. It's kind of like doing uh, puzzles every day. And that's what I really enjoy doing. So every day is like a new challenge for me. In our industry, you don't remember things by memorizing. You remember them by doing. So it, it's core to us that most of the classroom time is hands-on, hands-on the keyboard, interfacing with other students and instructors, and really kind of talking and doing the material so that it really sinks in at a, at a deeper level. I really found that uh, everyone was very helpful, whether it be the teachers or my uh, fellow members in the cohort. Everybody's always willing to, to pitch in and take time out of their schedule to help everybody through. And it was, we really built a cohesive group because we're all going through it together, struggling, looking at things we, we had no idea what we're supposed to do sometimes. But by working together, we all managed to figure it out. And you'd think that's kind of strange because when you're coding, you picture just somebody sitting at the terminal by themselves all day locked in some room. But uh, in my experience, it's the total opposite of that. And I'm glad to find out that there's a lot of uh, teamwork, uh, camaraderie, and collaboration that goes on every day to get projects done. And then with all the project work that we do in class, since everything is project focused, all of the code that they write and all the projects they do is publicly available uh, on their GitHub profiles so that employers can not only have the conversation to kind of gauge what they know, but actually go look at the work that they've actually built. After they finish the course, they get their certificate of um, completion from us. Uh, but more importantly, they have the opportunity to go out into the workforce and look for, look for jobs and stuff. So what we do is we put them in front of the employers, we send all the resumes, we help them with their interviews, and then really hold their hands through to, to, to onboarding into those companies. The starting salaries are generally in the forty to fifty thousand dollar range for software developers here in Hawaii. Um, that certainly scales up much higher into the sixty to hundred thousand dollars in on the mainland. The major trend that we've seen over the last six months has been really the emergence of female applicants. We started off our, our first cohort was was all male. Our second one we had our first female applicants and commitments, and then our third one actually we had more female students than than males. So, 
and uh, now going into our fourth cohort, we're, we're almost at about 50%. We have five ways to really finance your education at Dev League. One of them I want to highlight in particular is the, the new CLIMB uh, program. It's a CLIMB loan program. So essentially for $1,000 down, you can finance the other 9000 of the tuition. And essentially the interest rates at CLIMB um, range from anywhere between 5% to about 12% with an average roughly around 9% or so. You can pay an interest only uh, type of arrangement. And then after you graduate for the next three months, um, you can also pay interest only as well. I definitely want to give Dev League uh, a big thank you because uh, I don't know where I would be if I wasn't able to enroll in a course like this. I was searching for a long time for something that I really wanted to do and there was no real opportunity to do it here in Hawaii. I would have to go online somewhere or maybe look to the mainland. But uh, with all the help from Jason, Russell and everybody here, and I managed to uh, make it through and go after my dreams now. All it takes is $1,000 down to get started today. Tell them you heard about Dev League on Career Changers TV.